Let's welcome the Marshall Thundering Herd to the dais. We're joined by student athletes Abby Beeman, Brianna Campbell, and head coach Kim Caldwell. We will open it up to an opening statement from coach. Obviously not what we wanted, um, but you got to take a beat. You got to take a second. You got to reflect on the whole entire year as a whole, not just the last couple hours. Um, and so there's going to be some time where we hopefully quickly we can look back and, and celebrate our season. I appreciate every Marshall fan that tuned in. I appreciate every Marshall fan that was here in green. Um, it was great to see our fans sh come out and show out in a pretty awesome, hostile environment. So we appreciate you. We're sorry we didn't give you a better show. Okay. Let's open it up to questions for the student athletes. And we'll begin in the back row. Joey with Legacy Maker Sports Network. Uh, how, speaking on that crowd, how much of that uh, crowd affected you guys at the beginning? It seemed like uh, communication was a little bit of an issue right there at the beginning, and you kind of settled in a little bit, and then the game kind of got away from you. But yeah, if you could just speak to the crowd and how intense that was and how much that affected you guys. Yeah, um, you guys draw a great crowd. Um, it's really fun to play in, to have that to experience, because I know you know, a lot of people, even Power 5 schools, don't get that. So um, just shout out to your guys' fan base for that. But as far as playing in it, I mean, obviously you want the fans to cheer for you, not against you. But, um, yeah, it definitely affected, you know, I think we just had adrenaline going because so many people were in there. We couldn't hit shots early, and they were hitting shots. So I'd say that's kind of how it affected us the most. It's just like it kind of got us, like, too excited almost to play in front of all those people. Sure. Yeah, let's go Luke and then Greg. Luke Creasy, um, Herald Dispatch. When you look at the rebounding numbers, um, in in the margin of what the game ended up being, only minus three on the boards. Can you talk about your effort, especially in the offensive end, to pull in twenty uh, offensive rebounds? We'll start with Brianna. Uh, yeah. So, um, I mean, we had effort on the boards. We just weren't hitting shots uh, as we would uh, like to. Um, I think the effort uh, there was there. Um, but yeah, like I said, we didn't really hit shots. So yeah. Abby, you guys settled in some in the first quarter and did a lot of good things for a good portion of the second quarter. The last minute of the first half, it kind of got away from you. How important was that? And if you can just kind of reflect back, what, what were some of the things that went wrong in that final minute or two? Yeah, um, honestly, I was not on the floor for that final minute, but uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, they may have probably hit some threes. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I, I remember thinking to myself, it was a big momentum changer because I think we were up, or we were only down by like seven and then a minute 30 left, and, it, and I think they went on like a 10-0 run, and then we were down 17 at half. So um, yeah, just anything can happen in a minute. We can hit a lot of shots in a minute, and so can another team, and that's kind of uh, what happened today, unfortunately. What is one thing that you'd like people to remember this particular team by? Start with Abby. Um, just how hard we play. Uh, and we play a different style. Hopefully it's really fun to watch. It, it wasn't today because we were not hitting shots. But if you watch any of our games all year long, um, I would like to think that we gave people a good show to watch. Um, and we're really we're a really close team. Uh, we stay together. And I know people outside of our locker room don't know that. but. Um, I hope you can kind of tell that we played hard till the end, even though the score looked the way that it did. Brianna, do you have a reflection on that? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we're we a close team. Um, we'll play hard to the, uh, until the end. Uh, you know, unfortunately, like Abby said, we didn't have the outcome that we wanted. But, you know, we're, we're a hard playing team. And I think our playing style is pretty cool. So uh, looking toward the future for this group, um, I think it'll be, you know, something special to watch. And I'm sure they'll be back here. Greg. Abby, what is next for you? Oh, uh, that's a great question. I don't know. I mean, I love basketball, so yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. Okay. And Tim? Tim Stevens with the Herald Dispatch in Huntington. Uh, they they did a good job against you, you three point wise. Were were they difficult to shoot over? Were you just not making making shots? What was what was the problem there? Additional questions for the student athletes? Right. Abby and Brianna, thank you for your time. Safe travels home, and we appreciate watching you this season. All right, thank you. Thank you.
coach was just trying to leave. Okay. <laughs> can't, can't, can't get out of here quick enough. We'll, we'll make it quick. We'll make it quick. Um, questions for coach. We'll go to the back row. What about Virginia Tech made them such a challenge for you guys to, to make shots? Uh, their height, I think. Um, a tough environment on the road. But they're just, their length. And, and again, we kind of score in bunches, as you guys saw, just small bunches today. But normally when we get hot, we get hot. And we never had that momentum. I, don't, I think we had it maybe for a second in the second quarter. But we never really had that momentum. So we couldn't really catch fire. Um, we didn't really turn them over the way we like, so we didn't get the easy offense. So we never really got to see the ball go in. But that's just a great team. We're, we're rooting for that team. Uh, and we said that in the locker room, that, hey, that, that, that right now, we, we want them to win it. We want them to win it all. Um, they've been through a lot, too. And so hats off to them. Um, and I can't wait to see what they do next. We'll go to Luke in the front one. You know, when you talk about that height, um, it didn't seem to matter much on the offensive end. We were grabbing those offensive boards. So can you just talk about the rebounding effort as a whole? That's been you know, kind of a staple for you guys um, this year is, is that effort off a missed shot. Um, can, can you talk about how you saw that work tonight in yeah, some I th ways? I think the neatest thing is they – they were quick to tell me about the rebounds after the game. They said, Coach, did you see the box score? I said, I never want to look at it again. And they said, well, we, we only lost the rebounds by three. And, and so they're proud of that. They're proud of their effort. And it's a culture thing that we've built, and um, it's something that they look at, and they can hang their hat on, and, and I'm happy for them, and, and bless them. Bless them for getting 20 offensive rebounds when we're significantly shorter in, in every single position. So they did that well tonight, and they should be incredibly proud of that. Plus 15 offensively. Yeah. Greg. Kim, what's it been like having Abby for this season? You've coached against her. You've now coached her. Obviously, the success she had you know, throughout the season speaks for itself, but her leadership and the respect she seems to garner from her teammates also kind of speaks volumes. Yeah, absolutely. I think she's a once-in-a-lifetime type of player that you, get to, that you get to coach. She is a leader. She gets everyone to play hard. She loves basketball. She's in the gym all the time. She does everything right. And so I'm going to miss her, and I hope that I can find a way, except for those two both, I hope I can find a way to show them how much I appreciate them and how much they've changed my life over the past season. Because, you know, we had a great year, but it doesn't happen without them. And one more for Tim here. Looking forward to next season. You, you lose two significant players there and a little bit more, but a lot back, too. Yeah, absolutely. And those two players are invaluable, and Tamia is invaluable, and they're irreplaceable. But I think we have learned a lot this year, and we obviously want to get back, and we want to represent our school a little bit better um, when we come back, if we get to come back. All right, Coach, thanks for your time, and congratulations on a great season. Safe travels home. Thank you. Hammond Communications will post a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided by ASAP and will be sh posted shortly. Uh, just a reminder, the Marshall Locker Room is open until 635. 635 for the Marshall Locker Room. Thank you.